Hey, welcome to XJ's Film Review. I'm your host, Extreme Gina. This week's episode, we're going to be talking about the documentary film Decline of the Western Civilization Part 2, The Metal Years. <sighs> yes, this film is what inspired me to want to become a documentary filmmaker. And it's primarily because it has all of the elements, good, bad, and ugly, of the L.A. rock and roll scene at the time in the 80s. So let's start with the good. There's nothing but good about watching Ozzy Osbourne in the kitchen cooking breakfast. We took cocaine, we took vast amounts of marijuana. It was fun at the time, but then we all just sort of thought this ain't a very good idea anymore. So you have a more stable life now? No. And then next up, we have the bad. And when I say bad, I mean bad as in naughty. The great Gene Simmons from KISS being interviewed from a lingerie shop. Yes. Ay, ay, ay. When we first started doing this stuff, we didn't really talk about head banging. We talked about girl banging or gang banging or anything but head banging. That doesn't seem very nice to do. Hi. But... And next up, we have the ugly. Do you think a rock and roll lifestyle turns you into an alcoholic? Yes, it does. How much of that do you drink a day? About five pints. A vodka? Yeah. Five quarts, pints, who cares? Guitar player from Wasp, Chris Holmes, and his almost incoherent interview in the swimming pool with him shit-faced on vodka. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a happy camper. Now, that's what I call ugly. Yeah. Only thing I don't like about this film is we don't really get a good comprehensive history of why the L.A. music scene was so pronounced. Uh, I would have liked a little more history, a little less crazy anti-heavy metal chick in there. But anyhow, so I guess I'll just have to do my own. That's all we have time for on uh, XJ's Film Review. Until next time, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.